Hello everyone, good night, good morning, good evening, whatever. The saga continues with the iPhone SE 2 and there's no easy way to put it. I'm like, you know guys, I'm like the number one supporter of this phone. It's It should be invented and I'm pretty sure it is going to be invented. But you know who else wants this phone to be invented besides you watching this video? Apple. I'm pretty sure Apple will need to make the iPhone SE 2 if they want to still be the top tier phone manufacturer of all time. Now, believe it or not, Apple isn't the top tier phone manufacturer of all time, even though some people think so. Samsung is above them. I'm pretty sure Huawei is above them as well but apple is climbing up the ranks they've been getting better and better and with the iphone 11 they really kind of knocked that one out of the park the iphone 10r they did the same thing the tennis and tennis max not so much but apple is getting better at these type of phones and by kind of releasing these cheaper phones such as the iphone 11 the base model not even the 11 pro or 11 pro max the iphone 10r they have made such best-selling phones they made such crazy selling phones Still nothing compared to like the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but they're doing a better job. And Ming-Chi Ko recently, he said that Apple is expecting to sell at least 20 million iPhone SE 2s in 2020. So the iPhone SE 2 is not coming in 2019. It didn't come last year. It's probably going to come in 2020 if it does come. Many people are expecting it to sell in quarter one. Now, the designs and everything that I've been creating, that a lot of people have been creating, probably is it's probably not going to look like this. It's not going to have that notch. It's not going to be like that. It's probably going to be in that iPhone 8 design. I've been kind of going against that. I think it's probably, if they had to do it, and maybe it'll be in like that iPhone 10, 10s, like iPhone 11 Pro kind of body a little bit in an iPhone SE body. But here's the thing: what's going to happen to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus? You know what I mean? Like I hit, like I hit on this in the last video. Are they still going to continue selling that? Or are they going to just sell the iPhone SE 2? Because why would people buy an iPhone 8 if the iPhone SE 2 is newer, faster, has a faster chipset, and probably has a couple more features here and there? Why would they go for the iPhone 8 when that one is selling for even cheaper than that one? It makes no sense to me. So they'll probably end up stop selling that one, or maybe they'll sell them at the same time. Maybe people will want the iPhone 8 for some reason. Or maybe they'll continue selling the 8 Plus. I can see them selling the 8 Plus. I can see them taking out the iPhone 8. Maybe that'll happen. But on top of that, if Apple actually does go and sell these models, if there's such a demand that Apple is already expecting to see, you know, 20 million in sales of just the models of the iPhone SE 2, there's really no reason why they wouldn't make it. I mean, think about it. There's such a high demand for it. At this point, it's not a matter, in my opinion, of whether they're going to make it or they're not. I think they're definitely going to make it. It's just a matter of what it's going to look like and what's going to happen to the other models of the iPhone store. Like if you when you go to the Apple store, are you still going to see like which iPhones are you going to see? Now, in my opinion, they're still going to keep obviously the new iPhone 11s. Those aren't going to change. The iPhone 10R. a lot of people said they might stop selling that one in favor of the iPhone SE 2. I can tell you right now, Apple's not going to stop selling that iPhone 10R. That is still one of the best selling phones that probably sell in the Apple stores and that price tag is at $599 so I don't see why they would stop selling that because the iPhone SE 2 is expected to sell for like $399 or $400 or whatever it was so I don't see them like not selling the iPhone SE 2 anymore on top of that the main models that we're going to see change probably are the iPhone 8 plus and iPhone 8 now I've went both ways of which one I think they're probably going to stop selling I'm pretty sure if I had to go for it they're not going to stop selling both because both are kind of different so it's not like both or none I think it's more like either or so I'm pretty sure okay when you walk to the Apple store people kind of maybe want a bigger phone with the home button and the dual camera setup and everything and when you're holding the 8 plus and even the iPhone 8 you can see some noticeable changes if you're holding an SE2 if it is in the iPhone 8 body there probably there's probably no changes at all you know in terms of the outside but when you're holding the 8 and 8 plus you have that dual camera setup you have a bigger body bigger battery probably on the iPhone 8 plus so people can still pick up one of those phones even though it's more expensive there's still some advantages for picking that phone up versus an iPhone SE2 so in my opinion they might keep both phones they might keep the 8 and 8 plus but i'm pretty sure they're going to not sell the iphone 8 anymore in the apple stores and they're going to go in favor for the iphone 8 plus in my opinion they're going to keep that they're going to sell the iphone se2 and they're going to sell all the other iphones at the same time so that's probably the best way i can put it the se2 is coming in my opinion it's coming quarter one what everyone else is saying i'm agreeing with that in terms of design i'll agree with whatever just give me the se2 give me that updated internals of a smaller form factor and we'll all be blessed all right and that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below this has been some saga i'm telling you guys that they're gonna write movies about this iphone se2 <laughs> actually we should make we should make a documentary about it i think that'd be pretty interesting <laughs> hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video but definitely hit that like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button my bad do the subscribe button that will mean so much check out the links in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then